Hi friends, Teacher Kim is going to read The Little Mouse, The Red Ripe Strawberry, and The Big Hungry Bear by Dawn and Audrey Wood, illustrated by Dawn Wood. 小朋友,杨老师要念小老鼠,又红又熟的草莓和饥饿的大熊. Dawn Wood和Audrey Wood写的书,画家是Dawn Wood. Hello, Little Mouse, what are you doing? 你好,小老鼠,你在做什么? Oh, I see. Are you going to pick that red ripe strawberry? Oh,我明白了,你要去摘那颗又红又熟的草莓,对吗? But little mouse, haven't you heard about the big hungry bear? 但是,小老鼠,你没听过那只饥饿的大熊吗? Oh, how that bear loves red ripe strawberries. Oh, 那只熊是那么的喜欢又红又熟的草莓. The big hungry bear can smell a red ripe strawberry a mile away. 那只饥饿的大熊可以闻到一英里以外的又红又熟的草莓. Especially one that has just been picked. 尤其是刚刚被摘下来的那一颗. Boom! 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 The bear will tromp through the forest on his big hungry bear and... Sniff, sniff, sniff. Find a strawberry. Boom! 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 那只熊将以饥饿的大脚踩过森林，然后咻咻咻，找到那颗草莓。No matter where it is hidden, 不管你把它藏在哪里，or who's guarding it, 或者谁在守护它，or how it is disguised, 或者它如何被伪装成别的东西。there's only one way in the whole wide world to save a red ripe strawberry from the big hungry bear. 快,全世界只有一种方法可以从饥饿的大熊身上救出又红又熟的草莓. Cut it in two. 把它切成两半. Share half with me. 与我分享一半. And we'll both eat it all up. Yum. 然后我们两个把它吃光光。好吃。Now, that's one red ripe strawberry the big hungry bear will never get. 那是饥饿的大熊永远也得不到的一颗又红又熟的草莓。The end. 结束。Thank you for listening. 谢谢收看。